Hey guys, so I know this seems like a weird twist, but it seems like Hardware 3 finally has a leg up on the newer Hardware 4s. Now, we know this affects the Model 3s as well, but until Project Highland arrives, there is no Hardware 4 on the Model 3s just yet, so we're just going to be referencing to the Model Ys. There are Model Ys being shipped right now with Hardware 3 and Hardware 4, and if you are picking up a Model Y with Hardware 3 or have already picked it up, know that you do have one benefit over the newer hardware for vehicles. So let's just get straight to it. It seems like Green has recently opened up another hardware 4 unit and he discovered something fairly interesting with what's going on inside. We are now going from half the amount of RAM coming from the hardware 3 vehicles to this newer vehicle here. So 8 gigs of RAM instead of 16 gigs and 128 gigabytes of flash storage instead of 256. So this pretty much crosses out all the chances of Model 3s and Model Ys with Hardware 4 being able to run Steam. Running Steam was on my top 10 things that I want in the new Project Highland vehicles as well as the newer Model Ys, but that doesn't seem like it's going to be happening any longer. Now, those of you guys that are a little bit more technical, you're probably asking why we're even talking about the FSD board when we're talking simply about the Entertainment MCU. They are two completely different things. One has its own computer to run all the animations on the display and the other one is to drive the full self-driving software. Well the thing is Tesla has in the last few years decided to merge both boards together. This means that the entertainment board and the full self-driving board is under one design now and anything that happens to one is going to happen to the other. What this means for Tesla is that there is going to be a reduction in parts and that ultimately means that there is a reduction in cost as well. So yeah the Ryzen chip that we've been all talking about and the separate GPU and whatnot, it's all under the same board as what's running your full self-driving and all the cameras around your vehicles. So what's happening here is if you guys have been following along with my hardware 4 playlist or the Model Y playlist, you know what's going on with the hardware 4 boards in itself. Tesla has slowly started shifting to a different vendors that provide a cheaper board for the Model Ys compared to the S and X. This means that if you put them side by side, you're going to see a missing connection connector, missing ports, lower parts usage, and a bunch of other things that would be needed to make it match up to the Model S and X. But the more critical one, which I've talked about in a previous video, I'll drop it in the description and somewhere up top there, is the fact that we won't be able to retrofit newer additional cameras as well as the new Phoenix radar that is in the S and X presently. So yeah, this is quite sad and in contrast, the S and X is already prepared for these additional cameras and for Steam to be running on the vehicles for years and years to come. Whereas the Model Y and very likely now that the Project Highland vehicles are not going to be getting any of these features. Anything that has to do with the entertainment part of it is going to be lacking now with just 8 gigs of RAM on the inside and 128 gigs of storage. Now you guys and maybe people like my parents may not think it's a big deal. It might not even matter at all because they don't know what's going on. But as soon as you start to to open up multiple applications, it is not going to be able to store it in the RAM and it's going to have to use the flash storage to swap memory and that's going to take a much longer time for applications to load and things are going to be a lot more jittery. Now there is the fact that Tesla is a software company and they are going to be able to optimize the software to work very well even with just 8 gigs of RAM, similar to how Apple does it with the iPhones. However, if that is the case and Tesla does optimize the software, that also makes means that the vehicles with hardware 3 and 16 gigs and 250 gigs of storage is going to perform a double that of what you have in hardware 4 anyways. So if those of you guys that picked up your hardware 3 vehicles recently, don't feel too bad because as soon as you jump into a hardware 4 vehicle and open a couple apps, you're going to notice that your vehicle is a lot faster. Now, I don't know how important this is and if it's a good trade-off for the high definition cameras of the hardware 4, but it's definitely something that you guys should be keeping in mind because because I personally think that with newer vehicles and newer technology, we should be getting better and faster. However, reducing and cost cutting is not one of those things that I am a fan of. So yeah, if this affects you guys or not, this is up for you to decide. But in Tesla's perspective, it's better to cost cut where a general customer would not feel the difference. If this affects you guys buying a Tesla or not, that is up for you to decide. But in Tesla's perspective, it shouldn't affect the general mass. People like my parents would not be able to tell the difference between 1080p and 
10 gigs of RAM versus 100 gigs of RAM. All that matters is how smooth it is. And as long as it's smooth enough, they wouldn't even care. So yeah, that's that. And likely Steam is never going to be able to come to the Model Ys and the Model 3s with hardware 4 in its current state. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think and would you be picking up a hardware 4 vehicle knowing that these are the limitations for years to come. This should wrap it up for this one guys and this whole background as I mentioned in my previous video is not going to be here much longer. I'm going to be moving back to Vancouver soon and unfortunately the home is not even constructed so we're not going to be seeing this. You might be seeing more of me in my vehicle and that's going to be a Honda Civic because I just recently sold the Model Y and sold the Model 3 just this past weekend so uh, yeah that's what's happening in my life right now. If you guys have any questions or anything let me know in the comments below and follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. Anyways, this is it. Once again, peace out.